vertical transformations of logarithmic functions. So our goal here is to graph log base three of x minus two. And the minus two is attached to the entire function. It's not inside the parentheses with the x. So I'm getting going on this. What I would start with is I would graph log base three of x. Um, as you can see, I already did that over on the left-hand side. We picked out our key points of one zero and then the base comma one. Um, so in our case, three, one. This has a vertical asymptote going on at the y-axis, so x equals zero. And let's use this and move things around based on this transformation of the attaching a minus two to the entire function. So what that uh, transformation is gonna do is it's attached to the entire function. So that's gonna be a vertical transformation and vertical transformations tend to work how we think they should. That when we subtract two, it's gonna move everything down two units. So our vertical asymptote's not gonna change. It's still gonna remain uh, at the y axis, but each one of these key points has been moved. So we had a key point at one zero. We need to pick that up and move it down two units. So it's gonna end up at one negative two. And I'll try to list these out as we go. One negative two is one of these key points. The other one was at three one. So as I pick that up and move it down two units, it's gonna to go to three negative one. The rest of the graph also gets picked up and moved down. So hopefully we can make this look very, very, very similar to what's over on the left-hand side. Just picked up, moved down two and set back down. Now the domain hasn't changed on this. As you can see from our graph, it's only positive values, only values to the right of our vertical asymptote. So that's gonna be from zero to infinity. The vertical asymptote, speaking of that, is gonna be at x equals zero at the y-axis, but that's the equation of a vertical line where x values are all zero on that. And then our range for all these logarithmic graphs, logarithmic functions is always gonna be negative infinity to positive infinity. Now let's look at another one where we have log base two of x with a plus two attached to the entire function. So again, I'm gonna start it out in a very similar fashion. I'm going to graph log base two of x and then think about moving it around. Key points, one, zero, which is on each one of these parent functions, but then the base comma one. So the base here has changed to a two as opposed to the three. So that's gonna be the ordered pair two, one. Let's use that and shift it around. Again, we have a plus two attached to the entire function. This time though, uh, it's being added. So this is gonna move everything up two units. So again, the vertical asymptote does not move. It's still at the y-axis, but our key points have moved. So we had a key point at one zero that's gonna move up two units. So it's gonna be at one, two. And then we had a second key point that was at two, one initially that moves up two units and it's gonna be at two, three. Pick up the rest of it, bring it along here. And hopefully it looks just like this graph that we have over on the left-hand side, picked up, moved up two units and sat back down. I would use these two key points if I were graphing it, say with an online homework system, go and click, click, making sure that I have the uh, log function from the, the toolbar accessed. All right, now, as far as the domain goes, the domain here is still zero to infinity, just like the parent graph. Um, because we get very close to this vertical asymptote at the y-axis, but we never get there. That vertical asymptote is going to be when x equals zero. And then the range, negative infinity to positive infinity on all of these logarithmic function graphs. All right, I hope this helps out on understanding vertical transformations a little bit more. Follow those key, um, key points around. Uh, that's the biggest key to uh, getting good graphs going on these. Good luck.